Okay, now we'll want to port forward. So we'll want to go start, Internet Explorer, and up in the address bar, we'll type that default gateway. Mine was 192.168.1.1, then press enter. And it's going to ask me to sign into my Linksys WRT54G wireless router. I'm going to go ahead and type in admin and admin, because it's my username and password on here. Um, it may be different on yours. Yours might be admin and password, or the user main name might be blank and admin is the password. If you don't know what your password is, go ahead and call up the um, internet service provider and find out what the password to your router or modem is. I like to go ahead and remember the password. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And then this is a simple Linksys router. Yours may vary. Um, you may want to call up the internet service provider and have them help you forward these ports. It's only five ports. So let's go ahead and go to Applications and Gaming. And we'll do GL1. And we'll do 81, 81. And then my IP address, I think with 111. Enable, GL2. 4550, 4550, and my IP address ended with 111. 3, 6550, 6550, and 4, now we're just going to go ahead and save the settings. Continue. And now, once all your ports are forwarded, now remember, you have to have GeoVision open. The webcam server has to be running before you can tell if these ports are open. Once you have the webcam server, you can see the little webcam there. You can see Control Center server there. You can see the DNS client. GeoVision's open. And all these ports are enabled in success. Let's go to Can You See Me? And check them. Oops, I'm sorry, I forgot. 8000 was not the port that I was choosing. I just, here, let's show what it looks like when you get an error. If the port is not open or GeoVision isn't open, then you'll get this error right here. Okay, let's go ahead and get some successful ones. Okay, so now that we see that 8,000 was blocked, now let's try 81, check, and you'll see success. Now we want to try all these just to make sure that they are open. And then Okay, so if everything goes right, we should be able to now view these cameras remotely. And if you don't understand this part, you'll want to watch the how to view your cameras remotely tutorial. Okay, and that is it. We successfully installed GeoVision into the computer. We installed the software, the drivers. We set up Windows for GeoVision, and we also configured GeoVision, did port forwarding, and now we got our cameras online. Right, now just get back, get relaxed.